Wakanda is a country located in Southeast Asia near the South China Sea. Nowadays, the type of government which has been practiced by Wakanda is the federal government. Before Wakanda was recognized as an independent country, Wakanda was under the colony of the Narnia Empire and the Independence Day of Wakanda was on 27 July 1867. Wakanda is comprised of 10 states which are Bangtan, Gryffindor, Treasure, and Hypen, Slytherin, Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Ameba, Paramecium, and Chlamydomonas. And these 10 states unite to form a central government. It is clearly spelled out in Article 1 of the Federal Constitution of Wakanda. There is a demarcation of power between the federal government and the state government according to the Article 2 and the list of power are listed down in the first schedule of the federal constitution. This country also has a federal constitution of Wakanda and it is the supreme law of the land. Therefore, all laws from the state and the federal government must be aligned with the supreme constitution. In order to make any amendment such as delete a single word from this constitution requires two-third majority of the parliament. Only the federal government can amend this supreme constitution and if the parliament has decided to do so, any government of state cannot stop the constitutional amendment. In this federal of Wakanda, there are three important branches in this government which are the executive body, the legislative body and the judiciary body. The executive body consists of the YDPA, the prime minister and the cabinet. On the other hand, state executive consists of Malay rulers or governors, the chief minister and state executive council. In the legislative branch, at the federal level, we have bicameral parliament. At the state level, we have unicameral state assembly. It's important to to know that the law which has been passed by parliament is known as act and the law which has been passed by the state legislative assembly is known as enactment. For the last branch which is judiciary, at the federal level we have the civil courts which consist of superior courts and subordinate courts and at the state level there are Islamic courts and also native courts. for the sake of the welfare of the people. 
people instead you spend it on animals that surely will die soon such a waste but tourists love turtles and tourism is important to both our state and the whole wakanda we need their money this law also helps to protect the turtles because we know the turtles are endangered right now oh god the rate of poverty is increasing and you want to spend money on those turtles yes the economy is important but our citizens are our main priority i'm so sorry but in order to feed our citizens we have to prioritize our economy and regarding the inconsistency provisions of the bill we shall make an amendment all honorable members please sit down question is that the bill now read a second time those who are of that opinion say a to the contrary no i think the a's have it Now, let me proceed with the bill. I should put the bill into motion for the consideration for the protection of Turtle Bill 19924. The question is that they take into consideration that the long title of the bill will be agreed to. All those of that option say A. Those to the contrary say no. It is aligned with the first teacher state list in the Federal Constitution of Wakanda. The motion will have been adopted by a majority of total membership of the House. With the following crisis of turtle population, the Council of State had been given an order to solve this serious issue. And thus, on 25 May 1992, it has been decided on the bill to solve this problem. It is hereby enacted by me, the Sultan of Ravenclaw, with the advice of the Council of State. This enactment will be cited as the protection of turtle enactment 1992 and shall come into operation on 26 May 1992. As far as we're concerned, Wakanda is blessed with the existence of various species of turtles in all over the country. But the significant state with the highest population of turtle is Ravenclaw. In Ravenclaw, the state managed to maintain the population of turtle. But the serious issue now is the number of turtle population is decreasing dramatically day by day. The Minister of Tourism and Culture said that the federal government will find the solution immediately as the number of tourists is declining as well due to the big changes regarding the population of of turtle. Datuk Sri Hakim also affirmed that if this scenario continues, the economy of Wakanda will be affected as the tourism sector contributes a big portion of the country's income. The question is, will this worrying issue be solved by federal government? What is happening to our country right now? The number of the visitors is slumping rapidly. Because of our own people, the population of the turtle is declining. I can say that our country's economy is unstable. If this worrying issue is continuing, we are all in a dangerous state. We have to find the solutions as fast as we can to counter this problem or else we are in a really I think we can refer to the Ravenclaw's enactment regarding the protection of the turtles. This enactment has succeeded to maintain the population of the turtles. As the site note, at this moment, the number of visitors in the state of Ravenclaw's is the highest among the other states. We have to follow the government of Ravenclaw's method by legislating a law about this issue too. It is not as easy as that. The state can legislate the law because animal welfare is within their jurisdiction. We, the federal government, have no power to legislate the law regarding this matter. We cannot trespass the jurisdiction. I agree. If we trespass the power, technically, there is an ultra-virus. And when there is an ultra-virus, it can be brought to the court for judicial review. Ultravirus is a Latin word which means beyond powers. For instance, in the federal system in Wakanda, the State Legislative Assembly legislates any law in the aspect which has been listed in the federal list as an example. Hence, we call it ultravirus because the State Legislative Assembly is going beyond the power conferred to it. When there is an ultravirus, then the courts will declare the law void because the main highlight in the concept of federalism is the demarcation of powers. We can refer to Article 49 of the Federal Constitution of Wakanda regarding this. It has been clearly stated that the superior courts are given the power to review the validity of the law and declare it as null if it violates the constitutional division of competence. We should ask all the government of state to implement uniform policy regarding this turtle issue for the sake of our country. Why don't we make an international treaty? with our neighbor to settle this issue because as far as I concern our neighbor kingdom of Atlantica is also facing the same problem we can have a relationship with this country so both of us can find the best solution to solve this matter
After the discussion at the Parliament, the Act of Turtles Protection 1997 exists. The Act is applicable to all 10 states in Wakanda. As a result, the population of turtles increased tremendously. Therefore, the economy of Wakanda becomes stable, the Federation of Wakanda is now synonymous with turtles and became a famous place to be visited by the tourists from around the globe.